Hey everybody, Hooper TVX, Common Sense. So Dave Dash responds to why he was laying in that big ass bed with all the men and women in it. And <laughs> He responds and say, I knew it was going to be some fucked up shit. He was going to take it the wrong way and blow up the wrong way, which, I, you know, in the way I believe his shit on his part, it was innocent. I believe on his part was innocent. I just believe that uh, 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 P. Diddy had some nefarious shit going on, some 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 secretive shit going on, and, and, and they not thinking, some of them not thinking about it the way that P. Diddy is, you know. Cause he said that's where he was uh, 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 first meeting with Aaliyah and shit over there at that at the goddamn white party and shit when they was all on the goddamn bed and shit. But them other ones, yeah, them other ones, I think they knew what the fuck the big bed was about. They had lamps and shit all around. You know, they had all kind of goddamn shit around. They had it looking like a goddamn living room, like a goddamn uh, uh, the bed, man. The bed fit five hundred goddamn people on it, man. The bed. I don't, no, why a motherfucker got a bed that goddamn big, and the bed was goddamn outside with like 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 the like the house was open up to the outside, man, with goddamn lamps and and and, and all kind of goddamn crazy shit out there, man. And Dave Dad said, man, he said, man, I ain't had no parts of that shit. He said he said he wasn't thinking about it like that, man. He said he was there with, with you know with a few people chilling on the goddamn bed next to a Leah and them. And he said, that's all he was thinking about. was, And, you know, I believe him on that, man. I do. I believe him on that. I don't believe he, you know, he, he said, well, he, he, and he said, why do people always, he said, why do people always go for the negative shit and not the positive shit that he's trying to put out there? He said, why, can, why can't the positive shit sell and, and get more views than the regular shit? Years ago, that was not in L.A. or Miami. But I know they're going to play games with them pictures. It's all good. I don't really care. I, I, my, I, my my thoughts on, on Diddy is, is, is it's sad, period. It's just sad. And it's crazy. And it's shocking. You know? Weird. I should not want me outside at all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure. But I, I know I've been over here. I've been over here. And I, I never judge a man for any preference and all that, and they keep it to themselves. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. So, you know, that, and, you know, they might fall out again. I'm not, I ain't fixed them yet. You're still here. Yeah, I will. And definitely you have to educate people. I am a diabetic since I'm 15. I'm 53 now. So I want to show you how I dealt with it and dealing with it every day. Like, the reason why I'm not tap dancing around talking about it at all is because I think it's little, And it is the elephant in the room. So, you know, I'll answer a question, but. I just definitely think shit was definitely weird. What about him? You know, if I say anything, they be saying I'm hating, so I'm not saying nothing about homie. Fendi is a funny dude. He been there for the whole time. I'm sure his uh, perspective on shit is pretty hilarious or profound, you know? I don't know. No, definitely didn't want all the letters. Uh, definitely didn't want all the letters. Like I said, we all hurt. We're all shocked, and we all have to process. But at the end of the day, we also have to focus on what we're doing and what we've been investing in. And, you know, what I've been investing in is controlling my own narrative and making sure I can help my culture control their own narrative. P period. Period. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Like I said, man, you know, but the thing with, with homie is, is, is shocking and sad for hip-hop. Nah, I didn't go to those parties. I'm sorry. I went to one in the Hamptons about 20 years ago with Aaliyah, but that's about it. You know? But um, a lot of people were at those. You know what I mean? And, yeah, you know why I'm not going to certain parties. You know why I'm not going to be in certain crowds. I'm just not tolerant of certain things. That's all. I'm just not tolerant of certain things. Steve got hit in the head with a bottle. And then he sued the person that hit him in the head with a bottle. And then that very person he takes pictures with and hangs out with and still cool with. And I'm sure you could squash certain things, but I'm just saying this is, I'm, I'm just not really cut from that kind of cloth. And it's crazy because 
people will sit there and watch people do things that could be immoral, but until they get caught, no one says anything. You know, whether it's illegal or immoral. For me, I just break out. I don't wait for people to get busted. I don't wait for someone else to say that they're doing something wrong. If something is against my moral fabric, then I'm moving on. And, you know, I make a choice to maybe walk away from some money or walk away from a relationship or a certain kind of financial opportunity just because my moral fabric is just, it means more to me than that. And that's just who I am. But when I see people embracing immoral things and people that get things from immoral ways and and, I, I, and then they kind of like, they knock a person that's gonna give an honest fight, even someone that's fighting for you. That part is what I don't understand. You know, that's the part I don't understand. Like, cool, I don't want to be a part of that club. Y'all know I don't. I, I, could you imagine me walking into some place and a bunch of weird going on? I, I'd be like, yo, y'all bugging. It'd be pause, pause, pause. I'd be out. I'd be teasing people. It, it, it isn't what, what I'd be doing. You know? You know, of course, the things that are going on right now are affecting all of us in, in a big way. And it's making me appreciate the fact that, you know, I stood strong. And, and, and that I didn't tolerate and stay in the same rooms while certain things were going on. You know, the, the times are changing. And of course, the people that have been doing well for the last couple of years, they're all shaking in their boots because there's a new model. It's honesty. It's really being good at what you do. It's really caring about your culture. It's not being abusive. It's teaching people how to recover from their trauma. That's where we at. That's the type of time we on right now. I don't know. I, again, what I what I I don't know anything about any of those things from 2005 on. I wasn't around, you know, and that was the reason why I wasn't around. <laughs> so what I'm good, what, what's good is I don't know anything. I just know I wasn't there. And whatever happened is very it's a mystery to me, like it was a mystery to everybody else. But you know, I know that my instincts told me to get out of certain environments. I'm not gonna say necessarily that one, but you know, things that were along those lines, you know what I mean? There's a lot going on, but what's going on in my life is this is one of the proudest days for me. I'm really happy because my son is watching TV, but what he's watching is his family's television network, Applefish. Today, we launched our 24-hour Applefish Fast Channel on American New, and it's children's programming playing 24 hours. Now, my dream was to have a child, have a family, and to educate our child with our form of education and entertain our child with content that we make. We want to raise our child and make sure whatever he's watching is going to help the trajectory of the rest of his life. So we have Applefish kids, and a lot of what you're watching with the children as it relates to that is curated um, by the OSG, All School Grounds, uh, hundreds of principals from economically challenged areas that know exactly what these children need, how to get their cognitive skills up, which is the most important thing, our future. So, Dusko, are you proud of mommy? Yeah. Applefish kids, you have your own network. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, you know? And let me just show y'all real quick. Hold on, Dusko. So, you go to, oh man. Where are you? It's right by the computer. Okay. So you go to American News, mm -hmm. and you're gonna see the Fast Channels. So last time I just showed you American New, Blue Rock. I'm actually watching his own TV show on his network about him. That is crazy. <laughs> and his grandfather is the narrator. His mother wrote the book. His family owns the television network. And that's what he's watching. This is what he sees. His own socks, his own shorts, with his dog on it. CEO mentality starts young. Right, and that makes it because that's, that's true. Whenever you put some positive shit, that shit don't get no goddamn play. None. When you put negative fuck fuck shit around, they get all the play. Everybody want to fucking watch the fuck shit. When you put that negative, when you put that positive shit on there, you don't get shit. You don't get nothing on there, and that's sad, man.
That's sad. Everybody want to see the goddamn. It's like they pushing the positive shit through, and and and, and I mean the negative shit through, and the positive shit. They just skip push that shit to the side. They don't get put that in the algorithm at all. But yeah, he said he wasn't on that bed doing. He wasn't on that bed thinking about nothing like that, man. He said he was just partying out there trying to get with Aaliyah, trying to kick it with Aaliyah. And uh, but 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 how everything comes out now, and how all this uh, uh, Diddy shit is out now. It seemed like it, it, it seemed like it was something up to that bed on that goddamn um, big ass bed. <laughs> Dave said he ain't think about that big. He wasn't think about no goddamn bed. Trying to give a goddamn Lee. He ain't got time for that goddamn bullshit, man. He said he ain't got time for that goddamn bullshit. He said he wasn't on that type of time, man. Shit, they say I'm talking about Jay Z was in the bed with him and with Diddy. They that that they was lovers and shit. Oh my god. Saying that Diddy, saying that Diddy and Jay was so close together, man, that they was in there bumping nasties, man. Oh my god, oh my god, in there laying in the bed together. It, 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 I guess uh, Kim didn't like it. She said she was happy she didn't have to be in that goddamn bed with them. She, <laughs> she said that she, she said that Jay Z the only way I could call him Sean, man. Come on, man. What the is going on, man? This shit is disgusting and nasty as shit, man. But yeah, Dave Dash, he ain't had nothing to do with that shit. He wasn't on that shit. He said that uh, he knew that some people were gonna fucking flip out when they seen them goddamn, when he seen that them pictures resurfaced again. And he said he knew it was gonna be some bullshit about it. He said, and I believe, I believe, you know, he wasn't on no shit like that with that, with them pictures, man. I believe it, man. I believe it, but I believe that, like, just like P with the transgender in the videos and shit, I think he just slipped that nasty shit up in there, man, and, and people don't ain't pay attention to it at the time. But now when they look back in hindsight, 2020, they're like, God damn, how come we didn't know nothing about this? We don't even question why this nigga had a big-ass bed outside the goddamn yard, with, and, and everybody getting on the motherfucking shit, everybody. Yeah, yeah, James said he ain't got no shit. He wasn't on that type of time, man, with that goddamn bed, man. He said that was just a misunderstanding, man. People took that shit the wrong way. <laughs> but now all this goddamn dealer shit come out, man. This shit look iffy and fishy in the motherfucker. This shit look goddamn sus, man. Yeah, it look sus in the motherfucker, man. What do y'all think about that, man? What do y'all think about Dame responding to the goddamn being in P. Diddy and them big ass bed, man? What y'all think about it, man? Please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, don't hate, comment, sis.